Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apathea lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apathea. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm, then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no! This is your genius plan! Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained. Gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. <sighs> Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single oar is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos, even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baul knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. The shining forest of Area Lumen, and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However, hmm? he doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Entelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apathea by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. is in the northeast part of Tulpicia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tulpicia. 
I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Elikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea? The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Tercolumeres. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wakea is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. This looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure. But it likely won't fit on the ship. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! <laughs> this is fun! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. 
What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. What curious fellow would venture all the way out here? Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. Source of 
hunters! Triumphant! That's so cool!
That weapon! Nan! I warn you, the hunting blades are currently patrolling the area! Leave it- Nan! These wounds are terrible! Come on, Nan! Carol... What are you doing alone? Master and the others went on. What? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the hunting blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? Yeah, but it's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan! Carol, okay.
your eyes on my sword. Do we even have a chance?
break this barrier! Yes, practice me. I need to...
you crawled out from. Bring it.
This one's pretty tough. Ooh, scared. Pretty scary. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. That's Gusios? Back at Kerbakrum? So the Hunting Blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our bucko? Which one is... what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong! What are you doing here? 
You don't know what you're doing. I told you, you just get in the way. Run! There's nothing you can do here. No, the guild is my family. I can't just leave you to die. Damn it! Man! You! Gusios, calm down. Tell me what happened. What happened to him? It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intellikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure change and... No! Become out of Bogos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world. Gusios. Go. Save him. While he is still Gusios. Right. Okay. Guess this. This how it. Save him if he becomes an autophagos. You're right.
Just hope this saves him. It's all we can do. I can do even better than I'm even strong, that's the logic. Gusios. <laughs> what? He's gone! Now you want to hate this, too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it! He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Antilochia were for! You knew. All this time, you knew what the Antilochia were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago... The Antilochia killed my family, and it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief... Please wait! Let me at least heal you! Get up, you maggots! We're withdrawing! Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. his element a power rooted deep within the world earth hmm the spreader of roots gnome the spirit of earth gnome let us tell him once he awakens i can't believe entelikea who try to control air wind up as autophagos <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Humans. 
We're our own worst enemy. Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. Fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. so mysterious here almost like a fantasy novel i like it here are you serious it'd be even nicer if these sparkling crystals weren't hurting my eyes so much oh i've already gotten used to that hmm well now that you mention it it's not really bothering me either i guess i'm okay with it huh yeah me too what you mean i'm the only one who's still getting blinded here all right let's get back to the task at hand i don't want to be here any longer than we have to <laughs> I'm ready for more. I feel so left out. <laughs>
one strong. Ooh, scary, scary. So his family was killed by the Intellikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade any time soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs>